Hey, good afternoon, Top Fan Rivalry followers. It is Baseball Bill and Grand Slam Sam. We're doing something a little different. We're not going around the diamond right now. We're going to actually show you our beautiful faces on YouTube. I know both Sam and I have faces for radio. <laughs> we know it. We already know it. But hey, we're going to have a good time today. We're going to talk playoff baseball. So Sam, you're a Giants fan. You don't have a stake in the game right now. But tell me, doesn't matter. Tell me, what are you seeing in these playoffs? How awesome are these? You know, these games right now, they are so good. You know, you've got close competition. You've got teams fighting. You know, look, Philly's in. You know, no one thought Philly was going to make it, and they're battling. You know, right now they, they're leading that they're leading that series. They, you know, they got the win. Houston's up now 2-0. Yankee games, unfortunately, postponed, but they're still rocking with the one-run lead. And let me tell you, I mean, this Dodger padre series, I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. Obviously, you know where my skin is going, top fans. You know where my skin is relying. And I hate to even have to put it on another NL West team. But, Bill, you know I got love for you, my friend. But as the hashtag goes, beat LA. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Bill, what about you though? What are you seeing with these like with, with oh. these series? Oh my gosh. I needed a cardiologist after last night's game with the Padres. So <laughs> when you have skin in the game, it's like you're pacing around the house and everything. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you three things in rapid fire. One, pitching is always gonna be key. Two, you have to learn to play small ball. Everybody's not going to hit a Jimmy Jack out of the yard. Yeah. Three, you have to have baseball IQ. And if you don't, what I mean by that is I watched the Dodger game last night where Hugh Darvish threw six balls in a row. And the batter that had a 2-0 count swung at the next pitch. You got to have baseball IQ. Otherwise, you're not going to win anything. Are you freaking kidding me? Right. We're in the playoff. Now, granted, Sam and I are kind of playing couch coaches here because we're not getting paid to, to play. Listen, I was offered to manage a team this year, but I sent the call to voicemail. I was talking to Sam. And I, that. you know, I got offered a GM role and yeah. I said, I got better things to do. I got better. I got things better. To do. Exactly. Exactly. So I, to me, it's those three things. And and the pitch count is big because you throw everything out the window. But here's my 100%. question for you, Sam, is. Mm -hmm. Like, we've added a playoff round, right? A wild card round. Right. Okay. I'm from the West Coast, L.A. area, where it rains two and a half days a year. Okay. I can't imagine what it's going to be like in Cleveland in October, late October, if they advance. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine if you ever get Minnesota in or Colorado in. So what do you think about this new format thing? What, I mean, does it – it's crazy. I – I'm, you know, I'm mind boggled by it. Look, I'm all for wanting to add an extra team. And I understand the concept around it. It's good for baseball. You have more teams. The fan bases are more engaged. They, they've they got something to look for. You know, look, even as a Giants fan, I can, I'll can be more than happy to admit the last three weeks of the season, I was on the, I was on the edge of my seat. We came within five and a half games of getting in. You know, there was a lot of downswing. There was a hope. There was a chance. And as Giants fans, we know you don't want to see us in October. Normally, you don't want to see us yeah. there. We we turn it into another level. But you're right. And this format, while being good for baseball, is also bad for baseball. And you exactly what you said is key. What happens when you've got these much colder cities where the players are used to the cold there are going to have deeper games? What, what about what we're experiencing tonight, which, you know – Top fans, this is going to be on tomorrow. But tonight, the Yankees, their game was postponed. They're now having to play tomorrow afternoon. You know, it, while it's good that it's bringing an extra team in and the fan base gets to stay engaged a little bit longer, it's going to cause a lot of teams to be greatly upset, especially when things like this happen, because now one team or two teams are going to lose a day off and they're not going to be happy about it. And Manfred is going to go. No, he's going to get. He's going to get near Phil. Phil, what do you think? 
I'm with you. I'm with you. So the Yankees play 107 tomorrow, I think, right? So let's assume it's a three-hour game. It's 407. You get the press, yada, yada, yada. You get to the airport. It's 707. You fly to Cleveland, right? Hour and a half flight or whatever. You get in late, but you got to play the next day, right? Yep. So if tomorrow is crazy raining, what are you going to do? And let's look to the future. I love it from a fan perspective. Yeah. I love it from a fan perspective. But what are you going to do in the future? Let's say if it's a World Series between the Rockies in Colorado and Cleveland um, in Ohio, right? Like, you're going to have so many rainouts and, dare I say, snowouts. Mm-hmm. Sammy, yep. we're going to be watching Game 7 of the World Series after the Lions game on Thanksgiving when we're breaking bread. Like, I, I couldn't agree with you more. It's crazy. So Yeah, I, you know, but, but you're right. From a fan's perspective, this is great because I'll watch baseball an extra two to three weeks. I'm good with it. But yeah, from yeah. a player's perspective, uh, not so much. No, but, exactly. You know... But that's my two cents. No, and and I I'm right there with you. But you know, top fans, Bill and I are here, and we we want to spend more time with you. We're we're all about involving the community, being out there with you, talking to you, and you talking to us. So we want you to bring us your feedback. We want you to bring us your questions, and we'll answer those questions for you on one place, and that's going to be on Around the Diamond, and we film that. Every Saturday morning, Bill has been holding it down for the last couple of weeks. I've had a couple of personal matters going on. Won't get that much into it, but I'm back. I'm going to be there this Saturday. We're going to be talking playoffs. We're going to be talking what to look forward to, what matchups you need to be on top of. And when we get into this postseason, you really want to be paying attention because we got a lot of great topics and guests coming our way. So make sure you check this out. It's on locals.com. Search Top Fan Rivalry. You can catch us every Saturday around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We drop it episodes there. However, you also don't want to stop there. You also want to make sure you're following us. Make sure you go to Instagram.com. You follow me, Instagram and Twitter. Follow me at grand underscore slam Sam. Make sure you go to Instagram and Twitter and you follow Baseball Bill at TopFanRivalry.com or TopFanRivalry. And also check out TopFanRivalry.com. There's a ton of great stuff up there. There's articles, all every single podcast. Um, we got our merch store where you can get great shirts like this right there. Awesome hats like Bill's wearing right now. We got new ones coming out, not only for the postseason, but we're already prepping for 2023 baseball. Because guess what? And before you know it, you're going to blink and it's going to be there. So make sure you follow us on everything that you can possibly imagine. Love it. Twitter, Insta, locals, maybe a Facebook. Bring it on. Right. Exactly. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Sam, we're going to need to do this next week, too. So let's do it. I'm down. We'll, We'll do it. Okay. And everybody's comments, please don't tell us how good of a radio face we have. We already know. We're we're well aware. We <laughs> we we keep these for the lovely ladies in our lives because unfortunately no one else wants to see them. <laughs> exactly. Have a good one, guys. See you tomorrow. See ya.